Good evening, I'm Aton Wallace and welcome to Impeachment Wrap, Where Does America Stand? Our web-only live show that wraps up everything you need to know about today's impeachment hearing. Now, a reminder, all of this, the impeachment stems from a July phone call between President Trump and the President of Ukraine. The President of America is accused of withholding military aid to Ukraine in exchange for investigations of the President's political rivals. Of course, this comes after public testimonies last week from three witnesses, including Bill Taylor. He's the top U.S. diplomat in Ukraine. George Kent, he's a deputy assistant secretary of state who worked on Ukraine and five other countries. And we also heard from Marie Yovanovitch. She's the former U.S. ambassador to Ukraine who said she was the target of a smear campaign. As she was testifying, the president tweeted, quote, everywhere Marie Yovanovitch went turned bad. She started off in Somalia. How did that go? House Intelligence Committee Chairman Adam Schiff said last week he considered the tweet real-time witness intimidation, but President Trump said he had every right to tweet that out. So this week, President Trump continues to slam the impeachment investigation as a, quote, scam and a hoax, as four witnesses publicly testify in today's high-stakes hearings. Brett Conway has the latest. What's going on is a disgrace. And it's an embarrassment to our nation. President Trump lashing out against the public impeachment investigation hearings into an alleged dirt for dollars scheme involving Ukraine and an investigation into the Bidens. Former special envoy to Ukraine, Kurt Volker, once again testifying in front of House impeachment investigators. Ambassador Sondland made a general comment about investigations. I think all of us thought it was inappropriate. Alongside former National Security Council aide Tim Morrison. I feared at the time of the call on July 25th how its disclosure would play in Washington's political climate. My fears have been realized. This after an already full day of testimony from Jennifer Williams, a member of Vice President Mike Pence's staff, and National Security Council official Lieutenant Colonel Alexander Venman. Three witnesses were on President Trump's now infamous July 25th phone call with Ukraine. The White House further weighed in on today's hearings, saying in a statement, quote, nothing President Trump has done or said amounts to bribery or any other crime. Today's hearing only further exposes that Chairman Schiff and the Democrats are simply blinded by their hatred for Donald Trump. I'm Britt Conway reporting. Thanks, Brett. In the meantime, President Trump spoke to reporters about the testimony, saying he doesn't know one of the, today's key players. I don't know him. Uh, I don't know, uh, as he says, Lieutenant Colonel, I understand somebody had the misfortune of calling him Mr., and he corrected them. Uh, I never saw the man. I understand now he wears his uniform when he goes in. No, I don't know Vindman at all. What I do know is that even he said that the transcript was correct. And if anybody reads the transcripts, I had two calls with the president of Ukraine, who, by the way, said there was no pressure whatsoever. There was no anything. They don't, they probably think, they, they can't, they probably can't even understand what's going on with this country. But Vinman, I watched him for a little while this morning, and I think he, I'm going to let people make their own determination, but I don't know Vinman. I never heard of him. I don't know any of these people other than I have seen one or two a couple of times, they're ambassadors, but these are names that are taught, like Taylor, like Kent with a nice bow tie, wonderful bow tie, maybe I'll get one for myself someday. I don't know who Kent is. I don't know who Taylor is. All these people are talking about, they heard a conversation of a conversation of another conversation that was had by the president. Now, President Trump has been quite vocal throughout this process. His commentary was even brought up mid-hearing as representatives read his tweets out loud. Ms. Williams, on Sunday, the president personally targeted you in a tweet. This is after he targeted Ambassador Yovanovitch during her hearing testimony. I'd like to show and read you the tweet. It reads, tell Jennifer Williams, whoever that is, to read both transcripts of the presidential calls and see the just-released statement from Ukraine. <laughs> Then she should meet with the other never-Trumpers, who I don't know and mostly never even heard of, and work out a better presidential attack. Ms. Williams, are you engaged in a presidential attack? No, sir. Ms. Williams, are you a never-Trumper? I'm not sure I know an official definition of a never-Trumper. Would you describe yourself that way? I, I would not, no. Did that, make, did that tweet make an impression on you when you read it? It certainly surprised me. I was not expecting to, to be called out by name. 
would surprise me too, and it looks an awful lot like witness intimidation and tampering in an effect and in an effort to try to get you to uh, perhaps shape your testimony today. Meantime, comments from political leaders in Washington continue along party lines. The House is going to do what the House is going to do, and when they get through, as you all know, it uh, comes over here, displaces all the business, and we'll be on it until senators decide it's time to, to reach a conclusion. I will repeat what I've said in the past. <clears throat> it's inconceivable to me that it would be 67 votes to remove the president from office. The bottom line is uh, impeachment is the, one of the most solemn responsibilities that the Constitution uh, gives the Senate to have a trial after the impeachment of a president should it occur in the House. And uh, we're not going to go let scheduling requests get in the way of that solemn responsibility, period. Now, not all moments were as politically charged in today's hearing. In fact, there were lighter moments in between the seriousness of the matter. For instance, this video of a woman openly downing the last of her coffee made headlines this afternoon. The court also got a laugh when Representative Joaquin Castro bonded with Colonel Vindman over a shared trait. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, Ms. Williams, thank you for your service to the country. Uh, Colonel Vindman, thank you for your, for your service. And it's great to talk to a fellow identical twin. I hope that your brother's nicer to you than mine is to me. <laughs> it doesn't make you grow a beard. <laughs> all right, well, now all eyes are looking forward to tomorrow when Ambassador to the European Union Gordon Sondland is set to testify. The one-time Trump donor changed his testimony to say there was a quid pro quo in Ukraine. Now, from the lighter moments to the serious allegations at hand, we will continue to share the most notable moments right here on Impeachment Wrap, Where Does America Stand? That is tomorrow, 645, web only, here on social media, on KGET Facebook page, and on our website, KGET.com. With that, we really appreciate you joining us. For all of us at 17 News, I'm Aton Wallace saying, have a wonderful evening. Good night.